From strange new family planning techniques to evidence that could bring us closer to cloning woolly mammoths, here are eight unsettling discoveries that might change history. Three Parent Babies a controversial procedure that allows mothers with DNA-based genetic diseases to replace their faulty mitochondria with healthy mitochondria from a donor sounds like something out of a science fiction movie. These diseases can affect different parts of the body, but are only passed down through the mother to their children. For women who have these types of diseases and want to safeguard their future children, this replacement therapy allows for that, but it does not come without controversy. Some of these mitochondrial deficiencies, including blindness, diabetes, and hearing loss, are terrifying to parents who don't want their children to acquire disease later in life. But the replacement therapy, which takes damaged mitochondria from one patient and replaces it with the healthy mitochondria from another, has only been performed once in a human. The technique has some ethical concerns, with some worrying that the sensitive technique on early cells could disrupt others and cause further defects down the line. But for those who are worried about giving birth to children with defects, the controversial procedure is a risk they are willing to take, even if it is illegal in some places. In 2016, a child was born to a mother with a fatal disorder that affects her nervous system. Worried that their child would develop the disease, the couple underwent a procedure in which the mother's egg and a donor's egg were both fertilized by the father's sperm. Then, before the fertilized egg started dividing, both of the nuclei were removed and the nucleus from the donor's fertilized egg was discarded and replaced by the one from the mother's fertilized egg. This in theory resulted in a three-parent child, but the couple had to travel to Mexico to have the procedure done. While some believe it helps to save lives, others think it is more controversial and even goes against some religious beliefs. Either way, this treatment and similar ones to obtain the same result remain a cause for debate in the medical community, with some arguing it saves more lives than those it puts at risk. What do you think of this treatment? Is it ethical? Would you do it if you knew you had a genetic illness that might be passed down to your child? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Afterwards, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already to keep up with the latest videos. Mammoth Island in Siberia Thousands of years after the woolly mammoth vanished from mainland Alaska, a small number still live on an island in the Bering Sea, and all it took was one scientist's discovery in an underground cave to prove it. After descending into the underground cavern, scientist Matt Wooler uncovered an interesting link to the past. There on an island to remove a core sample from a crater lake, Wooler found a tooth from a mammoth among the bones of other mammoths, caribou, polar bears, and arctic foxes. Radiocarbon dating showed the mammoth died 6,500 years ago. After finding dust and pollen in the original core sample, the scientists hoped to find evidence of mammoths as well as info on how they died and when they might have happened. Pollen grains and fungus that lived on dung dropped by mammoths helped them to pinpoint when the creatures were alive. Located on the island of St. Paul, the core sample showed off 10,000 years of the island's history. It was once a part of the Bering Land Bridge, which once extended into the Arctic Ocean and allowed animals and ancient peoples to cross from the mainland. Although the last of the woolly mammoths died some 4,000 years ago, they once thrived in the northern hemisphere in areas from Spain to Alaska. As the earth began to warm, they lost their habitat, so finding the remains on St. Paul Island is an important link to the past and a striking reminder of how our current species could also be at risk as the globe continues to grow warmer every year. Another discovery of dwarf mammoths on Siberia's Wrangell Island shows that environment were not the only threats to the survival of this ancient species. As sea levels rose, the mammoths became trapped on the island. Because they were so isolated, inbreeding amongst those that remained ended up having stark consequences to the species. Genetic mutations such as developmental defects and low sperm count meant the mammoths were not very healthy, which could have been a contributing factor to their extinction. With a population that was too small and a lack in genetic diversity, these ancient mammoths eventually died out some 3,700 years ago. Canadian Viking Settlement in 1960, the first Viking settlement in North America was discovered by a Norwegian explorer on Canada's east coast. In 2016, a second similar settlement was spotted using satellite data. A far cry from the original discovery found by surveying unusual grass mounds in Newfoundland, the second settlement is about 375 miles 600 kilometers south of the original one. Known as Point Rosé, the site was shown to have high levels of iron, as well as turf walls, ash residue, roasted ore, and a fire-cracked boulder. 
A space archaeologist named Sarah Parsak detected the buried structures and excavated the turf walls and ironwork fireplace of the site's previous inhabitants. Using remote sensing tools to comb the area for buried objects, the group found 28 pounds 12 kilograms of slag used to roast iron ore, a key component in the nails used to build those great Viking ships. If more evidence can be uncovered, it would be the second settlement in the Canadian province. Lonceau Meadows is where Norse sailors first settled in the continent, building simple homes and huts 500 years before Christopher Columbus. Cold Spot in Space For many years, scientists have tried to explain the origin of a mysterious large cold region in the sky. The supervoid is known as a cold spot, the radiation left over from the birth of the universe. Scientists believe one possibility for the cold spot is that it was caused by a super void that light has traveled through, but it could also be a genuine cold reading from the early universe. Spanning more than a billion light years across, the cold spot was first observed in 2004 by NASA and later confirmed by the European Space Agency. Appearing in the southern celestial hemisphere, there are many theories surrounding the cold spot including contamination from the Milky Way or an unusual celestial object. But some conspiracy theorists even point to the possibility that the spot is evidence of a collision between our universe and a parallel universe. The galaxies found in the supervoid have a much lower density than they do in the rest of the universe. But could that really mean it is the doorway to a parallel universe? Visible on maps of what is known as the Cosmic Microwave Background, or CMB, these photos show what the universe looked like when it was 380,000 years old. To determine its origin, scientists take surveys of thousands of galaxies, spreading them out according to their wavelengths. This provides a pattern of lines emitted by different elements in the galaxy. So the further the galaxy is, the longer these wavelengths appear, showing exactly how far away these galaxies are. In studying these wavelengths, researchers could not explain why there was such a large void where the cold spot is located, and that is where the idea of clashing multiverses came from. More observations will be needed in order to understand the mysteries of the universe, and hopefully future observations using space-based telescopes can get a better idea what this enigma is. Sharks in a Volcano For those with a fear of what lurks beneath the surface of the ocean, a group of sharks found swimming at the bottom of a volcano might make you think twice about getting back into the water. In 2015, a group of scientists on a National Geographic expedition discovered the sharks inside one of the most active underwater volcanoes on Earth. Are you wondering how they were able to explore the volcano in the first place? The main peak, Kavachi, was not erupting during their visit, giving researchers the opportunity to drop instruments into the crater. That's how they spotted the hammerheads and silky sharks living inside. While the very hot acidic water seems to be an inhospitable place, the sharks seem to thrive there. Humans cannot survive there, but after lowering their cameras, scientists spotted jellyfish, crabs, stingrays, and various sharks in the cave located in the Solomon Islands. Their discovery is one that shows that even in the deep sea, animals will find a way to adapt to their environments no matter how dangerous it may seem. The hot, acidic water made for cloudy observations and initially led scientists to wonder how any animals could survive there. But these sharks have proven that despite the inhospitable conditions, they have been able to adapt in the most unlikely of places. Cheruti Mastodon Site a surprising find at a site in California points to evidence that ancient humans could have been present some 100,000 years before previously thought. Found at the Cheruti Mastodon site near modern-day San Diego, the artifacts were discovered by a team including archaeologists from the Center for American Paleolithic Research and the San Diego Natural History Museum. 130,000 years ago, the climate was warm and wet and would have submerged any land connection between northern Asia and Alaska. Humans migrated to North America in small canoes or other vessels that would have allowed them to travel down the Pacific coast. Researchers believe that those who settled in Southern California could have been Neanderthals, Denisovans, and Homo erectus. But if the evidence were to point to Homo sapiens, it would be a startling discovery as there is no evidence true humans reached that part of the world that long ago. The remains found in the Southern California site, however, show them as tool users, although no fossils of the humans have been found to this date. Researchers believe they broke apart the bones of the huge mastodons to obtain the marrow inside. Scientists also believe they would have later turned the bone fragments into tools. Excavation at the site occurred in 1992 and 1993 after being exposed during a construction project. Backhoes and heavy construction equipment had to be brought in to move the mastodon bones, which led some to believe that the markings on the bones were in fact from the modern construction and not the ancient peoples who are hypothesized to have settled here. 
At the time, the ancient Southern California landscape also had many streams which could have caused the broken mastodon bones to clash against large stones, leaving marks on them. However, a sediment layer at the San Diego site had pieces of mastodon bones, some of which were broken apart spread among large bones. After using stones to break elephant bones on large rocks nearby, researchers found they had sustained similar damage as the ancient bones. Although more research will need to be done on the mastodon remains, the discovery is an exciting one with the potential to rewrite history. Toxic air killed the dinosaurs Everyone has heard about the asteroid that impacted Mexico effectively wiping out the dinosaurs, but could they have died from more natural causes? 66 million years ago, when an asteroid almost 9 miles 15 kilometers in diameter slammed into the Earth, it delivered a force equivalent to 10 billion atom bombs. But is it possible this event, known as the Cretaceous Paleogene Extinction Event, is not the only reason the dinosaurs went extinct? In the aftermath, global temperatures plummeted and soot and sulfur reduced the amount of sunlight reaching the Earth. But new research shows that temperatures rebounded after the event, and the release of sulfur when the asteroid slammed into sulfur-rich rocks triggered an onslaught of acid rain. Imagine all the oceans the remaining dinosaurs relied upon for water acidifying, and all the plants dissolving from intense acid rain. There would be no way the dinosaurs could have survived with no food or water. One piece of evidence of this theory is the fact that fern plants, which grow well in acidic soil, were the only ones to survive the impact and recolonized Earth the quickest after the event. Even though the effects of the asteroid's impact only took minutes to hours, it would take the Earth another 100,000 years to return to its previous state, allowing plants to once again grow and animals to thrive. Lost Civilization in Bosnia in the spring of 2016, an archaeologist discovered a strange stone sphere in the forests of Bosnia. But what exactly is the massive stone ball and how did it get there? After studying the phenomena for 15 years, Sam Osmanangic believes the stone ball was the largest found in Europe. At the time of its discovery, less than half of the ball had been uncovered, but it is estimated to be between 4 and 5 feet. Its distinct brown and red coloring point to it having a very high iron content, with preliminary weight calculations coming in at over 32 tons. Similar stones have previously been discovered in Costa Rica, but if the calculations of this one are to be believed, it would be twice as heavy as those. The fact that it was also probably made by hand would mean it is the largest man-made stone ball. This is a remarkable find, since it would have taken an advanced civilization from the distant past to have made such an object with their primitive tools. They would have also needed to have advanced knowledge of geometrical shapes. Some experts still believe the sphere is a natural formation and not a man-made one, though pointing to a phenomena known as spheroidal weathering that results in concentric or spherical layers of highly decayed rock. Whether it is man-made or something out of nature, the find is a fascinating one, and it deserves further study to determine its origin. What did you think of these strange discoveries? Which did you think was the most fascinating? What else do you think lies out there that's waiting to upend our current world view? Let me know your opinion in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time.